Hey guys, this video is going to be a review of Nartra Shapoon episodes 361 through 365, which is a set of five episodes that I really, really loved, so I'm excited to talk about them. Episode 361 um, wrapped up Kakashi's story that we've been getting for a while, like an entire season of the show, and um, I'm pretty kind of happy about that actually because I don't know, I'm conflicted about it because I actually really enjoyed that storyline and learning more about Kakashi's past and like everyone else whose story intersected with his. It was really interesting to me but I had definitely reached the point where I was ready to like move on to something new so even though I did really enjoy those episodes I was happy that it came to a close too and we have to move on to something new because I did really like episode 361 and getting to see team 7 formed again and like more from Kakashi's point of view than what we've gotten in the past made me feel nostalgic like flashback episodes typically do like flashback episodes that flash back to things we saw on the show previously and don't really get nostalgic about flashback episodes that are like new stuff. So that was nice and I think it was a fitting way to end that season. Then we get to go back to the war and the battle that's happening which is really super exciting because obviously that battle was really intense and I'm really excited to be back with that and see what happens. She's a death which I have watched many many times mostly for the Naruhina scene that follows it which I have watched many many times um, and because of that Naruhina scene I've been like really really waiting for Neji's death which sounds terrible because I'm not excited that he's dead I was just really excited to finally reach the point in the show with that scene, like the Naruhina scene, not the death scene. It is interesting though because I've known that Neji dies for years and I had watched his death scene years ago and have watched it multiple times. I didn't, I wasn't really affected when I watched the entire episode and saw it again because it wasn't new information for me and like the scene wasn't even a new thing for me I had watched it before so even though I got added context watching the entire episode I didn't really get emotional about Neji dying like it's sad and I think it's really well done and I really like the emotions that Naruto and Hinata show afterwards and like their their dynamics like in the immediate aftermath of Neji's death I really appreciate that that's why I love that Naruhina scene and why I've watched it so many times. I personally didn't feel extremely emotionally affected while watching it. It's been so long since I watched that scene for the first time that I don't even remember how I felt when I watched it for the first time. I was really excited to get to a, like a section of the show that I had watched so many times. I honestly think I've watched that Naruhina scene like more than any other individual scene in Naruto. I, I, I love it so much. Like more than it probably warrants and I don't really know why, I just do. There's more that happens in these episodes. That was the most noteworthy thing for me. I'm really excited, like I said before, that we're back with the war and fighting um, Madara and Obito because I'm excited to watch it all play out. I know, like I said, I know some stuff or like most of the stuff that's happening from here on out and I'm really excited to see certain things that I've read about a lot but haven't actually watched so I'm getting like really really ready for that and I'm excited to watch the next several episodes. But I think that's all that I have to say for now so I will see you hopefully really soon with the next review because I want to watch them really badly. I will see you guys later. Bye!